key lime pie is a favorite of many, many people. If you're a fan of it, here's an easy, easy recipe. If you think you can't make it, believe me, you can make it. This is really easy. One and a quarter cups of graham cracker crumbs, easy enough so far. Two tablespoons of sugar, which I'm just gonna mix in there real quick. And then five tablespoons of melted butter. And get all of that in there because the butter makes it flavorful and holds the crust together. And now we're just gonna mix it until all of those crumbs are moistened. In the meantime, I have in front of me a nine inch tart pan with a removable bottom. You do not have to use this type of pan. You can use a regular pie pan and it'll work just as great. And if you don't wanna do this step, you can go to the supermarket and you can buy a pre-made graham cracker crust. So how easy is that? Just dump it in there. Let's get it all in there. Okay. And now it's just a matter of playing with it to get it on the bottom and up the sides. So just keep working it around. And just try to make it as even as possible so you don't have it thick on one end and thin on the other side. Like I said, it's just a matter of playing with it for a little bit. And I have my oven on at 350 degrees. I'm gonna bring some of this down. That edge over here is a little thick and I need some for the bottom. This helps a lot just to tap it down and push up those sides and press them in. So again, my oven's at 350. And what we're going to do is after we finish playing with this and getting it all in there, Going to bake it for about eight minutes and after we bake it we're going to let it cool completely at room temperature before we make the filling which is so so easy to do oops And there we go. Got one little spot there. Okay, 350 for eight minutes. So here's the crust for our key lime pie out of the oven. It's nice and cool. I'm just gonna put it off to the side for the moment and talk to you about the ingredients that are going to go into this filling. Very simple, as I said. Three egg yolks, one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Do not use evaporated, it must be sweetened condensed. One half cup of key lime juice. If you can't get key lime juice, although most supermarkets carry it in a bottle if you can't get the fresh key limes, you can use regular lime juice. It, the taste won't be that much different. Uh, and then some grated rind from um, a lime, or a key lime if you have one, and some green food coloring, which is optional. I buy my green food coloring in the giant economy size because I do an awful lot of baking, especially at Christmas. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start off by beating the yolks a little bit, and then I'm gonna gradually add all the other ingredients, and then we're gonna pour it in the pie shell. How much simpler can you get? So first off, start with the yolks. I'm gonna start beating them until they get light in about a minute or two. And then I'm gonna add the other ingredients.
I'm going to stop it for a moment because I want to scrape down the sides. And also, it's easy for me. Oops. It's easy for me at this time to grate in the zest. It's kind of hard grating in the zest when you're standing over the mixer and it's going. So get all that scraped down. Okay. And how much zest? A teaspoon? Half a teaspoon zest of one lime. Don't worry, I will not waste this lime. What I do is with when I use the rinds of lemons and uh, limes like this, I juice them later and put them into small jars and keep them in my refrigerator. You can add them to tea or other recipes. Almost done there. A little bit more. We want it really limey. Okay. The juice. And I'm going to add, at this point, just a tiny bit. We'll see how green it gets. I don't want this to look like a Christmas tree. We'll try that first. And whip this up. And now when this is all done, it's just going to be refrigerated. Heat it up. Just a touch more. A little bit more. Looks a bit yellow when I want it to look green. There we go. There we go. And as I said, this is not going to be baked again. It's just going to be refrigerated. But it really needs to go into the refrigerator for about at least four hours before you can, you know, serve it or uh, put any decoration on it. Uh, we're going to add cream to it later. So let's pour that into our shell. color they all kind of swirl it in. Mmm, it smells wonderful. Tastes pretty good too. Into the refrigerator for three or four hours, at least, uh, excuse me, at least four hours, and then we'll decorate it. Here's our key lime pie. Here's our key lime pie. It's been sitting around for about four hours in the refrigerator. Now it's ready to unmold. We have that removable bottom. Easiest way, do it over a can. Put it on a serving plate. Now what I've done is I took some whipped cream, whipping cream, and I whipped it up with some little bit of confectioner sugar, put it in a baggie with a tip, and now we're just going to decorate our key lime pie. And you can do whatever you want, whatever decoration happens to be your favorite. I like these shells, they're very easy. And there is my key lime pie ready to eat.